Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube! Sorry for the delays in making these fitting videos. I've been getting a number of comments and complaints asking about them, so let's get a few things out of the way. Uh, first off, yes, I am still making the fitting videos. So, uh, yes, I am still messing around with different fittings. I get bored a lot, so I tend to alter my suits even if they've worked well for a little while. Uh, yes, I am still making videos. I have been really busy with real life, but I am setting aside more time for making vids, so you should expect to see more soon, and some, unfortunately, non-dust related videos. I hope you enjoy those, but unfortunately my PS3 is starting to make some clicking noises. It's overheating a lot, so I'm really worried that soon my ability to play dust at all will cease to exist. Okay, now that's out of the way, uh, this week's fitting is provided by the subscriber Parkour Practitioner, uh, with what he has lovingly called the Hulk. Uh, the original fitting that I was given was of a basic Galente Commando, with a basic shotgun, basic mass driver, two complex myofibril stimulants, advanced kinetic catalyzer, a basic cardiac regulator, and a basic ferroscale plate. Uh, to be honest, I didn't think much of this suit when I first read it. I mean, a, a, a jumpy commando? You know, how useful can that be? It's heavy, it's pretty slow, and even with the kin cat, it, it really can't, you know, can't move too fast, and with the, you know, with not as much health, it can't take too many shots. So, you know, wh what good would, how good would this suit actually be? Now, as far as the shotgun goes, that actually makes sense. Um, a lot of players refuse to equip shotguns on the Galente Commandos, but I don't understand why. Uh, not only do Commandos get bonuses to reload speeds, but they also get damage to blasters, which a shotgun happens to be. Now, why a mass driver? Uh, I, I, you know, I really don't know exactly the reason why originally mass driver. I think it was probably because it's just you know, that AOE effect, that uh, ability to really hurt the scouts as they're moving around because those guys can be really annoying. Um, but why myofibril stimulants? That was the question. That was the true question that was boggling my mind. Uh, so I, when I made the suit, I took a look at the damage. Almost 800 points of melee damage on the basic Galente Commando. Wow. That's more damage per melee hit than a single round from a Proto Breach shotgun. So I tried it out in the next match that I was at, actually available for, and what happened to be, uh, it was a bad match. It was against a bunch of proto stompers. Nevertheless, I think I did fairly well. Um, I, I think I broke even on the KD spread, but you know, whatever. Uh, okay, so w with uh, uh, other you know sub sub subsequent matches. Uh, I had some more fun. Uh, I was able to perform suppression with the mass driver, you know, keep those guys pinned down to certain areas or, you know, break them up from, from bunching into groups and, and getting the lodgies repping everyone. I was able to get kills with it as well, so, you know, bonus, bonus. Um, the shotgun and melee strikes, you know, they prove to be a little difficult at times, but I get a lot of a lot of kills with the melees. Uh, the ability to do that much damage is just ridiculous in a single hit. Um, but as I said, I ended up causing a lot of problems for the enemy team when they didn't notice me though. That was kind of one of the big things. Uh, or they tried to bunch up the groups, you know, if you dropped in from above, if you came at them from the side and they weren't paying attention, you know, the melees real quick could do some serious damage, then you shoot with some shotgun blasts or hit, the, hit them with mass drivers to break up how much, you know, get them as away from you as fast as possible kind of deal. It's kind of fun. Uh, a couple matches in, I was hooked. It had some challenges to be sure, you know, you can't get around it, uh, such as how easy it is for the enemy to get away. Sometimes they could simply just back up faster than I could run at them and trying to melee them. Or, you know, there was hit detection issues with the melee, like I would hit and I would see the flash of the shields and, you know, I'd get a hit marker and then I'd look at their shields and their armor health and it'd be still at full, full capacity. And sometimes, you know, when they're backing up really fast and you're, and you're running at them, you might be f close enough to melee. But when you melee, it almost acts like you weren't close enough because they keep backing up, so you drop in speed dramatically. So that's that's one of the major problems I found with this uh, kind of, you know, suit. Others, however, would actually see me coming once they realized that I was meleeing or trying to get close, and they would run away, uh, either in circles or, you know, just towards their allies or whatever, but they would just run away and their team would finish me off with ranged weaponry. Very annoying. Very frustrating. 
uh, or in many cases, my slow commando suit would get caught out in the open when I tried to move closer and I would just be gunned down. And even with a kinetic catalyzer and a cardiac regulator and no armor plates that would slow me down, it really, it really, you know, hit home that I was in a heavy suit when I tried to cross open terrain. Very frustrating, very annoying. Sometimes, actually, I would kill myself with the mass driver uh, because teammates would move in front of me when I wasn't paying attention or when I'm just like seriously firing round after round after round. They would just jump in front of me. And then I'd hit them in the back of the head. They'd take no damage if I'm in a pub match. And then I would take all the damage and i just die. And I'm sure it's unintentional, but yeah, that, that's just one of those things that you have to watch out for with mass drivers or plasma cannons if you choose to use those. Um, so I thought about it for a little bit, and actually I decided to remove the shotgun. And for that, I'm sorry, my subscriber par parkour practitioner, I'm sorry about that. Uh, the shotgun worked well for a while, but with a melee and cardiac regulators, the I mean, no, that's what the cardiac regulators, but, but everything combined, your melee ability is so much better than a shotgun, and it's quieter too. I mean, some people might register the sound of a melee, but it could just be like they're thinking their teammates are going to try to like melee them in the back of the head to annoy them kind of deal. Especially if they don't take any damage, you know, like if you are just without a range and they hear, you know, it, it, they might not pay attention. But a shotgun blast, everyone knows what a shotgun blast sounds like. They're going to pay attention. Whether or not you miss, hit, or whatever, they're going to like start jumping around and be confused. You know, start looking for you. Ah, okay, so what I ended up doing was I put a ranged weapon on it. Uh, for the Galente, it's a no-brainer. I put on the, uh, attached an assault rifle. You know, bonuses to the blaster damage means that this thing just does more damage. Um, now I know you could go with the plasma cannon, but that's too much like the mass driver. And that's not what I had in mind. So when, I don't want to attach a mass driver and a plasma cannon. I could, attach, I could, uh, remove the mass driver, but the shotgun is too much like the melee, so no point in keeping the shotgun either. So, I mean, you know, it just doesn't work to use a plasma cannon or a shotgun. Now, about this time when I was messing around with the new version with the assault rifle instead of the shotgun, I thought, what about the other commandos? At the time, I was level 3 or 5 in all commandos, so I picked up their basic suits and set them up in a similar fashion. Um, high slots would consist of nothing but myofibril stimulants, the low slots would be cardiac regulators and kinetic catalyzers. For the weapons, I kept the mass driver for the you know AOE, the area of effect kind of deal. But I also put the basic version of their of their uh, race's weapons. So a rail rifle for the Kaldari, a scrum rifle for the Amar, a combat rifle from the Mitar. Uh, I thought about using the assault variants, but you just get more damage bonuses with the standard variants, you know, because the commandos give bonuses to their own weaponries, but the assault variants are usually half the damage of the st standard variants, so, you know, and the standard variants are pretty powerful anyway, so there's no real point in going for the assault. Um, deadly is how I would describe the Hulk, but death is how I would describe the Kaldar and the Nimitar versions. With the three high slots, the three blue biotics, mwah, they boost the melee to almost 1300 points of damage per hit! And the Mimitar with the Cardiac Regulator almost never runs out of stamina. I've never had a situation where I couldn't melee someone because I was out of stamina. Even if you just stop running, you get your stamina recovery so fast that you can melee the next instant. So, I mean, that, that stamina bar would fill up so quick. You know what I mean? So quick. Oh. So basically, you have an area of effect with the mass drive, ranged precision with the other light weapon, and then a massive Captain Falcon punch with that melee attack. And the suit can jump around like an idiot. Awesome. Ah. So I hope you guys like this fitting, and you'll give it a thumbs up down below. Boop, boop, boop. And remember to annoy the subscriber who gave it to me, Parkour Practitioner, with those X's and O's in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.